What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we talking about every single colorway of the LeBron 21 that released so far and I'm gonna rate them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. During the 2023-2024 NBA season, LeBron James entered his 21st year in the league. However, that was not the only milestone for LeBron as Nike Basketball introduced the LeBron 21, his 21st signature shoe. And this picture in front of you is the first images I saw of the shoe, but I don't think this shoe colorway ever came to fruition. We gotta see what else is down the line. Now the first LeBron we're going to talk about dropped September 28th for a retail price of 200 bucks. The LeBron 21 Okoya. Pretty interesting colorway. Came in light bone, coconut milk, dark russet, and campfire as the color scheme. Let me know if this is one of your favorite colorways or one of your least favorite. It is representing his relationship with his daughter, so I think the meaning behind it is definitely impressive. And of course, that's a great story between a father and a son, and I like that a lot. However, when it comes to rating this shoe, in my opinion, I would give this about a 7.5 out of 10. Let me know if you guys agree with that, or do you guys rate this higher? Next, we got the Nike LeBron 21 Violet Dust, which dropped October 14th for a retail price of 200 bucks. As you can see, this came in violet dust, melon tint, and purple combos as the color scheme. And one thing that stood out to me was that violet upper with the high quality nubuck material. Of course, you had the perforations on the toe box for breathability. I did like this shoe. The color combination was dope. It had an iridescent splash around the heel cup, which I thought was an extra good touch to the shoe. Some other noteworthy elements was the melon tint accents and swooshes. I think that also made the shoe pop a lot. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, violet dust colorway of the LeBron 21. For me, from a one to 10, this was definitely an eight. Next up was the Nike LeBron Gray School exclusive multicolor, which dropped November 17th for a retail price of 170 bucks. These came in multicolor, Cell, Loomis Green, and Fuchsia Dream as the color scheme. Definitely wild. He did wear these in a game and they did look nice. I mean, I think they're more fit for grade school sizing, but let me know what you guys think about the colorway. I did like the fact that it took more of a tie-dye pattern for the upper. Definitely playful for a kid's shoe. Noteworthy elements were the green stitching and outline swoosh logos, while you had the purple accents throughout the shoe as well. This is definitely a solid colorway, especially for grade school. From a one to 10, I give it also a 7.5. The next LeBron I want to talk about actually dropped right before the previous Gray School exclusive on November 3rd for a retail price of 200 bucks. The Nike LeBron 21 Tahitian, which is definitely crazy. They have a lot of interesting names for this LeBron 21 sneaker and they all have a fit. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this black colorway. The material looked like a velvet. It's much different from every other colorway that we've seen so far and that has dropped. These also kind of went on sale a little quicker at some of the stores in my area, such as Shoe Palace, but this colorway is very dope. This LeBron 21 comes in black, particle gray, wolf gray, and pink rose as the color scheme. And like I said, the upper portion has that luxurious suede finish and the deep black, which really makes the shoe kind of stand out like a stingray, if you will. One thing that sets this LeBron 21 Tahitian apart is the fact that it has that iridescent detailing found around the heel counter and midsole. I like the different things that they use, different materials. This is definitely one of the better ones in my opinion from a one to 10. I give this one a nine. Next up, we got the LeBron 21 Dragon Pearl, which was truly one of the more unique colorways. This one dropped October 19th for a retail price of 200 bucks. This LeBron 21 takes inspiration from the Mellow Mellow Pearl, also famously known as the Dragon Pearl, which is known as the world's most precious pearl. This LeBron 21 came in melon tint, metallic red bronze, and monarch as the color scheme, paying homage to the Dragon Pearl. The leather upper in that melon tint was definitely a game changer, almost made the shoe look like it was patent leather. Now I have to admit, when I first saw the Dragon Pearl online, I was a little underwhelmed as you might be by some of these pictures, but if you get a chance to have this in hand, this colorway is actually one of the best. It's kind of a sleeper. 
I would give this a solid eight and a half. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Next up, we got a fire one, the Ablon Pearl, truly one of my favorite LeBron 21s thus far. These dropped December 1st for a retail price of 210 bucks. Now this LeBron Ablon Pearl was truly one of a kind, coming in that industrial blue, court blue, photon dust, and pink rice as the color scheme. Now this LeBron 21 truly sets itself apart with the color scheme. You have that color shifting upper mimicking the pearl itself which i think is also fire you'll see the blue dominate the tongue laces inner lining and midsole it does have a translucent outsole and like i said man this is dope by the pictures or in hand rating this from a one to ten i would give this one a nine and a half maybe even a ten let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below and i believe i've been saying abalone pearl but it's abalone pearl so forgive me for being wrong on that but you know we always make mistakes let's get to the next shoe next i want to talk about a lebron 21 that has no official release date i don't even know if it's going to drop it's said to drop in 2024 for a retail price of 210 bucks but no release date officially the undercrown nike lebron 21 this one does look pretty unique depending on the picture let me know if this is a colorway that you will be excited to add to your collection or is it an easy pass by the pictures that i see that look good i get this about a solid eight i want to see what it actually looks like in hand next up let's talk about another lebron 21 grade school exclusive the james theater which dropped december 1st for a retail price of 170 bucks now i have to admit i did not see this grade school exclusive in too many store locations it came in track red ivory bordeaux and blue joy as the color scheme i like the fact that this shoe had a red suede upper these came with bordeaux lining then you have the white metallic embellishments that grace the heel and rear midsole section and by the title of the shoe alone you can see that it plays off of a movie theater as you have a movie ticket tongue tag that has lebron's birthday if you look at the insoles they have a playful popcorn graphic and the shoe has a white midsole with a translucent icy finish let me know what you guys think about the james theater grade school exclusive and rating it from a one to ten i give it a seven and a half but i don't know i have a feeling that because it's a grade school exclusive that's why i'm giving it a seven and a half because it actually is really nice that red suede is different i wish they came in men's sizing but because they're grade school i'm just gonna leave it at seven and a half next let's talk about the lebron 21 concailin which dropped december 19th for a retail price of 200 bucks these came in white black by coastal and photon dust as the color scheme this lebron 21 is named after the protein fortifying mollusk shells of course it has that white black by coastal photon dust palette with an iridescent finish this is truly one of the more unique lebron 21s in my opinion one of my favorites and definitely might make my top five or top ten list by the time these shoes are said and done it has that iridescent splash on the upper it's definitely fire pretty much like a pearl we did a review on this shoe also like i said to me this is definitely one of the top ones so from a one to ten scale i'm gonna give this one a ten the concoctions fire bro nike basketball and lebron are expanding their shoe lineup with the nike lebron 21 fam U color scheme this was a significant move and lebron's six-year partnership with florida a and m this shoe of course has that premium suede upper and the vibrant green then you have the orange accents throughout the shoe paying homage to fam U. this unfortunately is not something available to the public but it was something that truly sparked my interest and I wish it did. Let me know what you guys think about the fam you colorway. I think that one's definitely a 10 out of 10, but it kind of don't count because we won't be able to get our hands on it. Next up, let's talk about the LeBron 21 algae, which dropped January 25th for a retail price of 200 bucks. They came in oil green, vapor green, sand drift, light silver, and metallic pewter. Definitely an eye-catching LeBron 21 to say the least. This LeBron 21 was made a little different based on the materials. As you can see, it has that long hair suede upper resembling algae's natural color. Then I do love the vapor green accents that add an extra touch to the shoe. The medial eyelids and dubrays enhance the design as well and does have that vibrant green foam mid so that make you think 
it will glow in the dark, but unfortunately it did not. I am impressed by this shoe and the colorway and the suede, the long hair suede looks really good on this shoe in person. Rating it from a one to 10, it's a solid nine. The next LeBron we're gonna talk about is a grade school exclusive. This is the LeBron 21 All-Star, which drops February 16th for a retail price of 170 bucks. This All-Star LeBron 21 came in metallic silver, metallic gold, black, and university red as a color scheme. As you can see, these come with a metallic silver base that gives off a prism like effect complemented by the metallic gold swoosh logos on the side and branding on the insoles and tongue as well now there are a few things about this lebron that made it stand out besides the prism effect it did have a semi-translucent gold speckled outsole with the black midsole and one thing that i liked is the fact that it came with a playful cartoon trading card of lebron james himself let me know what you guys think about this gray school edition i got a lot of positive feedback about it Basing it on a LeBron 21 overall and not a grade school, I would give it a solid eight. I like what they did with the All-Star Edition for the grade school. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Next up, we have yet another very unique LeBron 21. This is the Aragonite colorway, which dropped officially in the States February 8th, but it also had a Korean release date of December 20th for a retail price of 200 bucks. This LeBron 21 Aragonite came in a Jade Ice, Emma Rise, Platinum Violet, and Terra Blush color scheme. In support of the Mother Pearl elements, this shoe right here is truly one of a kind and one of my favorites for sure. One thing that you have to admit about the LeBron 21 after seeing this video is that they are not afraid to try different things. We've seen New Buck, we've seen Suede, we've seen something that almost looks like a velvet. Now we got denim on the upper. Let me know if you guys are a fan of denim being on this basketball shoe and what do you guys think about the color scheme. And this LeBron, like all the other ones, have the streamlined cabling system along with the air zoom cushioning. You can't go wrong with the comfort and stability when it comes to hooping. And these shoes can be worn for casual wear, in my opinion, especially when they come in this denim material. You can definitely wear them with some denim jeans. I like the colorway. It definitely gives off the casual vibe, even though this is a durable hooping shoe. So durable that you can hoop outdoors and they last pretty long as well. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the LeBron 21 Aragonite. And if I had to rate it from a 1 to 10, this gets rated pretty high at a solid 9 as well. Let me know what you guys think. Next, let's talk about the LeBron 21 Queens couch that dropped February 8th for a retail price of 210 bucks. These come in emerald glow, elemental gold, and campfire orange as the color scheme, and it's truly a head turner as well. This LeBron is truly unique and is inspired by the elusive Queens couch and also represents LeBron's relationship with his daughter. And I think that's very unique that he's putting his family into the shoe overall. And these colorways representing these different pearls and having different meanings. You gotta love that as well. Let me know what you guys think about the Queens couch. And I have yet to see this in person, but by the image. Images. I have to get this one a solid eight and a half till we see it in hand, but I have a good feeling that it's going to be pretty much the red version of the Ablone Pearl. And if it's like that, then it's got to be a 10 as well. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this one and every other LeBron 21 that we talked about in this video. And if I had to pick a top three of the LeBron 21s that dropped so far, it would have to be the Conkylin, the Ablone Pearl, and my third one might have to be the Aragonite. Let me know what your top three or top five are in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you guys later. Enjoy All-Star Weekend and the rest of the NBA season. Deuces.